we start with value and as I mentioned value is not what your products do value is how your products help and what they help your prospect your clients or customers to do so we actually divide value into three levels in order for you to get even more granular with your messaging but we we start with technical value and this is driving improvements at the lowest level so it's technical but it doesn't have to necessarily be technology it's just what are the processes that you help to improve and you could take the most commoditized product or the most everyday product and most often they will improve some sort of process they make something easier they make something automated they might make something faster they might make something more reliable so here are some examples of those um, think about what processes or systems do your products or services help with to improve or you might help the people of an organization that you sell to might help to make the people work better la uh, uh, get up and running better you might provide training services when we off when we deliver technical value to our clients that will typically work its way up and create business value and business value are improvements in the area of revenue or costs or the delivery of services and so some examples of those could be decreasing any type of cost inventory costs labor costs um, improving revenue decreasing market share I'm, so, I'm sorry increasing market share so th these are all typically a result of improving technical value and when we deliver both business and technical value that will typically work its way up to create personal value and so if you're selling to an individual or you're selling to a particular individual in an organization let's say a VP of of HR and when they buy your services and you help to improve their people and that helps you to decrease your sales stat your your turnover and that helps to decrease costs that might help that VP of HR to hit their annual quota or target of uh, of, of replacements needed or, or turnover target um, which might lead to improved recognition improved compensation um, you could uh, improve the workload um, you could also deliver personal value to the people in the organization of the prospect that you sell to but those are three levels of value that we can we can identify for what we sell I mean you could be real simple to just say this is what I sell and these are the different ways that it helps or you could get a little bit more granular to d divide those into different categories why would you want to do that well in some of your communications depending on who they're going to if you're selling at a senior level you might want to focus more on business value if you're selling more at a manager or user level you might want to focus more on technical value um, when you're when you're deeper into a sales uh, process where you're um, trying to where you're building rapport you might focus more on personal value when you're talking to a prospect um, and talking about the different ways that uh, if they purchase from you that it will help them personally so there's a lot of power in, in in having those different categories of value points but if you wanted to be quick uh, quick and and just kinda get right to it you could just identify the overall value that you offer and you might say well that's great but I don't really know the value that I offer so I'm not really sure how to kind of fill in those buckets here's a step-by-step -step process that you can go through and we have a, an example here of a, fi a fictional example of a software product called auto inventory replenishment so identify the product service or feature that you want to try to identify the value for then let's identify what it does so what is auto inventory replenishment well that's a product that automatically submits orders to vendors based on inventory levels and then you want to identify how does that help we start with the technical value because we're starting at the lowest level and how does that help from a technical standpoint and well how that helps is that helps to decrease time spent ordering so basically by automatically submitting the orders we're able to decrease the amount of time that we have to spend walking around a warehouse you know plugging in numbers in a handheld uh, in, 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 into a tablet or scanner or whatever 
And so well, the next step we want to say is, well, if we deliver that value, what does that mean from a business standpoint? And from a business standpoint, that means that we're able to decrease our staff and labor costs. Let's say that the buyer of this service might be a supply chain uh, VP or manager. Well, if I'm able to automate all this, that means I don't have to have my staff running around the warehouse, which might mean I could do it with one less man manager. So that just decreased my staffing cost by uh, whatever thousands of thousands of dollars a month a year whatever so we can continue on to the next state step to say well okay if I'm selling to the VP of supply chain and we deliver the this technical value and this business value what does that mean to him or her at a personal level well because we're automating that th this manual process they don't the, the VP doesn't have to reconcile or review or approve the orders on a daily basis which means they can get get home at a decent hour and have dinner with their family that's creating a, a huge that could be an extremely huge and powerful personal benefit it, you know maybe not to everybody maybe they're a, they're single and that's not important but you know if you build rapport and you find out what's going on with that prospect that might be a very powerful point to make so we just outlined the value on those three levels for that product and if, that, if that's the only product that we sell we could stop right there but uh, in most cases you sell more than one product so we're gonna we can kinda go through that and rinse and repeat and so we we did I did that here for two other products a predictive forecasting uh, a management dashboard and then there's di there's slightly similar but different value points we got a lot of great data here now the challenge with this though is that we have almost too much data because if we're prospecting let's say we're doing cold calling and we wanna we're we're gonna try to operate within like a two to five minute phone call with somebody we don't have time to explain all of, all of these great things right so what we want to do is we we want to do a last step which is kind of summarize so we summarize all these columns we kinda of put all the, the products into a category we kinda of group up all the different technical value group together the business value personal value and then we this basically is our core value and we have some really good nuggets here at the at the bottom and what we can do is we can basically incorporate all these points into value statements so we can when when someone says well what do you do well we provide products that help uh, help in manufacturing companies to improve their ability to manage inventory that, and that's just using that's basically creating a sentence that says my technical value we can say the business value which is we help businesses to decrease their inventory and labor costs period that's our that's a quick sentence that that highlights the business value we could get a little fancy and combine the two to say and then I'm gonna mix my technical value with my business value to say well we help businesses to improve their ability to manage inventory levels and that usually leads to a decrease in inventory and labor costs so just combine the two and I could actually reverse that to say well we help businesses to decrease their inventory and labor costs and we do that by helping them to improve their ability to manage inventory levels so as you can see there I just created a bunch of different statements that are just different combinations of these value points and when can I use those I can use those when I'm networking I can use those in presentations I can use those statements in emails I can use those statements as the responses to objections so uh, that is a, a, a summary of what the value pillar in our sales messaging strategy is and, and can you see how powerful just that one pillar is and we're, we have we have five more to go I want to show you this relationship here which is uh, basically we started with the product and that led us by going through that exercise to identifying value points and I'm gonna come back to slides like this because there's a very linear relationship through all of these different pillars and that relationship is what the sales scripter is built on and this method methodology utilizes so just make note we started with the product and that led us to the value